Hi guys, so today's video is going to be one of those highly requested ones again. I know I'm doing a lot of your requests. This one is going to be a desk slash setup tour. I've done a few upgrades to my setup and I posted them on Instagram and a lot of you have been asking for a setup tour or basically what's in my setup. So I was thinking on making a short little setup tour and also have a slight change in content so that you guys have something else to watch in case you're getting tired of Genshin videos. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and let's get started. So the entire desk is actually two desks that I've combined together to create one really long desk. This side is my gaming space and then I do all my other work over here. Both sides of the desk have these big long organizers so that I can store a bunch of stuff, but normally I don't store anything past the bottom. So for here, I like to store some tissues in case I'm having snacks or drinks while I'm playing. Next up here, I have a little bit of light and my tiny stuffed animal. This part of the room doesn't really have any light other than the ones up here. I like having a small lamp so that I have enough space to work and there's enough light coming through and I can see what I'm doing. Over here, I like to keep pens and then the switch for the lights. I also like to keep a notebook. This is a notebook. I put all video ideas and notes when I'm recording. So my monitor is an ultra-wide monitor. It's really amazing for playing Genshin. The quality is perfect. I love playing with this one. As for this, this is a new addition to my setup. I got a monitor riser because I needed extra space here. And before the monitor riser, I used to have my keyboard right in the middle. But now I can store my keyboard underneath when I'm not using it. And there's a lot more desk space for me to work. Now for the keyboard that I have. This one is a semi-waterproof keyboard, so if I were to spill anything, it wouldn't cause that much damage. I also have a mouse rest that I keep under here. This has a lot of space to put that mouse rest and the keyboard so that it's not out on my desk. If I'm planning to play, I would just pull out the keyboard right here and then put the mouse rest here. And then right next to it is the microphone that I use for recording. Now when I record, I don't actually keep the microphone over here. Instead, I bring the microphone closer and then the keyboard I push back a bit, not this far, but a little bit more back. And also I can control the mute. I also put it here if I'm on any calls on Discord or if I'm talking with any friends. To match with my microphone, I have a Razer Quartz mouse. I have an unboxing video, I'll link it in the corner. But this mouse has a charging dock right here, and it also changes colors so you can customize it. I much prefer playing Genshin with this mouse than I did with my old mouse. Moving on to my second desk, so everything on this side. First, I have the camera stand that I use for my camera. Since I don't have anywhere else to mount this, and I don't really like mounting it on the top since it has this big cord that usually runs through, it is much better to mount it on this mirror. I know it's a very weird placement, but I also like it so I can see myself too, and if I know the camera angle is correct. Over here is just my miscellaneous stuff. I have a single monitor setup, so all my gaming stuff is here. I don't like moving anything, so it just stays in this area and I can quickly separate when I need to work or when I need to do other things. So I like to do a lot of journaling or writing in notebooks and decorating photo cards, so I have all that stuff over here. I have mild liner brush pens. I really love these. I got these really new. I got this pretty simple notebook. It's really aesthetic. I got it from Daiso and it has a pouch at the back, so I put some stickers in there. And then just my box full of all these stickers, photo cards, stuff, and random things. And then a calculator and my pencil case is in here. Here I have a Divum D2 speaker. This one is in pink and it is so adorable. I love the speaker so much, but this isn't the speaker that's connected to my PC. Here I have another notebook and some extra paper along with my iPad. It doesn't usually get stored here. It's usually charging, which is in a different location, but if I need it on quick hand, I put it underneath this area and there's a lot more space that I've freed up in my desk altogether. I also have my MacBook, and at home I don't really use my MacBook because I'm on my PC. The last thing, which is the newest addition to my setup, is this small photo card book. It's super affordable as well since photo cards are very common in Korea. Also, there are various designs and places to buy photo cards and photo card decor. Now, at the end of my desk is my PC. This one is a custom build, so for those who are asking about my PC and stuff, I do have a really good graphics card so that I can play Genshin and record Genshin without it lagging. That's really one of the important things. Some of the extra stuff that I have in my room is this painting, and then I have three posters of Electro characters, Kuching, Kudosara, and Raiden, and then a beautiful Kokomi poster. 
I also have these lights which actually I do not use often. I only like using this yellow light and I have another lamp on the other side of my room as well as natural light coming from the window. Remember that if you are building a setup, don't get the things that you think you won't use. Like if you know you won't use a monitor riser, I wouldn't recommend investing in one. Or if you're not planning on recording videos, don't get a really high quality microphone. Sometimes webcams or cameras have a built-in microphone. So if you're just planning to call with a few friends, then you don't need to spend on those expensive microphones or boom arms. Even I don't have that kind of stuff. If you're also looking to record videos or create content, don't need the highest quality of equipment. Just get what is necessary for you and your needs. So that is going to be it for the setup tour. If you guys enjoyed, let me know. If you have any questions, again, put it in the comments. But overall, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon in the next video. So I'll see you all later.